Hey yo, what's crackalackin' everybody? Your boy Bongo's back and today I have a very special video for you guys. All right, all right, all right. Let's stop the debate, okay? You guys, Swayze, he's over on this side, all right? The great value side. Me, I'm over on this side, the brand name side. But, does anybody actually know which is better? Is the brand name stuff dookie? Is the no name stuff better? Who the hell knows? Who the hell knows? But today, guys, Today, we are ending all the questions. We are putting it to the test. Today, we are experimenting to see which one is actually better. Brand name stuff or no name stuff? My guess, honestly, is the brand name stuff is gonna be better, but who knows? So, what we are gonna be doing today is we have one beautiful, delicious, simple chocolate chip cookie recipe, and we are gonna make it twice. Once with the brand name stuff, once with the no name stuff. If you guys are excited to see which one turns out better, please go down, smash that like button, and if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. But without any further ado, let's get into this video. So to kick this video off, it's only fair that we try it with the brand name stuff first. Typically, this is what you guys are gonna get at the store. But before we start opening this stuff up and mixing our ingredients, first things first is, you guys gotta check the receipts, Jared. So what I found out, guys, is obviously the no-name stuff is a little bit cheaper, but not that much cheaper. I'm pretty sure I only saved about $5 getting the no-name stuff, but Everything in this pile costed $20. Everything in this pile costed $25. So right away, guys, you can save $5. You can buy a box of cookies with the savings that you're gonna make if you go with the no-name stuff first. But I'm pretty sure everybody already knew that if you go with the no-name stuff, you are gonna save some money. But what is the big difference? What makes these guys so special? We're about to find out. So to start off this recipe, you guys are gonna need Two big dutty bowls, all right? Now, in these bowls, you guys wanna start off with your flour. So we got our Robin Hood flour here, and our Robin Hood flour, guys, wasn't that much more expensive than the other flour. $3.20, which isn't bad. I think this flour was $3 on the dot, so you realistically only paid 20 cents more for this guy. So for this recipe, we need two and a quarter cups of white flour. So here we go with our white flour, and I think it'll be easier if we do it like this. One cup. I think I spilled some in there, so there's two cups, and now we need a quarter cup. Uh, that's a half cup, so we need a half of this cup. Here, that is about a half. Boom! All right, so there is two and a quarter cups of white flour. Into the flour mixture, guys, you guys want to add one teaspoon of baking soda. Now, you guys want to be careful because baking soda could be messy. The boxes are meant to be stuck in the fridge, but you can also bake with it for some reason. I never understood that. <laughs> one teaspoon of... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Is that the arm and hammer? Yo, Jed, it's the, the arm and hammer. This is the big muscles. All right, it's one teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of the sifto salt, Jared. This is some nice brand that name brand salt. Name this salt. brand name salt. You, you, you see me with the brand name stuff, right? You see me with the brand name stuff. So what you guys want to do is start whisking together this flour mixture. Here, 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 here. Just whisk that together until you have a nice, evenly distributed flour concoction. Now, honestly, by the looks of it, I, I can't tell a difference, but if you guys haven't noticed already, my main man, Chad with the J's behind the camera today. So, Jado, do you notice the difference? You've done a one two DIY. Talk to me, baby. What's going on? Bro, here? I have no I. It's gonna be close. I think the chocolate chips are gonna be the major key. That's what I think too. Honestly, we have some no-name chocolate chips. The Hershey's, guys. the Hershey's chocolate Hershey's dog. Stuff. Come on. Right, that's gonna be a vibe. All right, so we got our flour concoction here. We are ready to roll. On to the next part. Now guys, in a separate bowl, what you guys wanna do is add about 12 teaspoons of butter. Now that's about three quarters of a complete cup and it has to be at room temperature, all right? So I took this butter out in the morning and I let it sit on the counter all day because it has to be room temperature so that you can be able to mix it in your big dutty bowl. And guys, on the butter itself, it usually tells you how much a cup is, so we need three quarter cups. So we're gonna cut it right about there, all right? This is the first time I ever used a butter knife in my life, guys. All right, here we go. Butter knife, it up, and easy peasy, beautiful. Into the pot it goes, here you go. All right, in your butter bowl, guys, what you guys wanna add is two thirds of white sugar, 
and about three quarter cups of brown sugar. So here we go with the white sugar, guys. You see me with the brown name? Oh, is that sugar. milk? What? Now you guys see how it's nice, bro. It's nice. Here we go. Look, it pours evenly. There's one. All right, we need three of those. And now we need three quarter cups of brown sugar. Now guys, take this in. We got the Ooh. nice brand name brown sugar. That right golden here. yellow sugar that though. golden yellow vibe. All right, so here we go. We got our cup. We're gonna pour about three quarters of a cup into this bad boy right here. Oh, there we go. That um, sandy vibe. Oh, okay. Now what we wanna do guys is grab a hand mixer, all right? Now with this hand mixer, what we wanna do is beat up the butter and the sugars for about four to five minutes, all right? We wanna make sure that this concoction is nice and melted down. So, plug this bad boy. Uh, come on. The major plug. This is so difficult. So, what we wanna do is now, Bring the butter in like so. Oh, 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 easy there. Why is it going so fast, bro? We want like a nice little, wait, does this go even faster? Give me a break. Put it in a smaller bowl. I really didn't think it was gonna be that big. Now it should be mixing way better. All right guys, as you can see, it is a nice fluffy mixture now. So the next step is once you guys have reached this consistency of your stuff, you guys wanna grab some eggs. Now this recipe calls for two nice large eggs. These guys are the omega-3 eggs, all right? Now, I don't know what makes them so special. They say omega-3 on them. They might give you superpowers. I'm not a doctor, I'm not 100% sure. So here we go with the first egg, boom. All right, now there's our first egg. And guys, we wanna beat the beat up between eggs, all right? So here we go, boom, first egg. Boring. On to the next egg, folks. And here we go. Can I be a champion? Boom. There's our second egg. I absolutely cracked it. Here. All right. And guys, beat up the second egg into the mixture. Now, guys, what we want to add is one teaspoon of some real ass vanilla extract. So here we go with the one teaspoon jade here. And we might just add a little bit more for flavor. You know what I'm saying? So one teaspoon of vanilla, and, and once you guys have scraped down the sides of this bowl, what you guys now want to do is go ahead and add the flour mixture to this concoction over here. Now you guys want to put it in gently, boom, 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 just like so. All right, and like that. And again, guys, with the mixer, go ahead and very slowly start to knead your dough, boom. All right, now you guys see the vibes. Here we go. Creating some vibes. Yo, it's getting so chunky. Oh yeah. But it'll all mix together well soon. At first it might look like that, but the more you mix, the better oh, it turns out. It's turning to a nice dough already. Now we can turn it up a little bit. It's a nice medium speed so that we can Get all of the ingredients together. Here. No, not the OVOT. No. Oh, it's all good, buddy. All for the cause. And boom. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, you're mod. Watch your fingers. Watch your fingers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Some vibes. So there is our concoction for our cookie dough. Now what we want to do, again, scrape down the sides. Boom, boom. Just like so. And guys, there we go. There we have our cookie dough concoction. Now the final step to our cookie dough is obviously the chocolate chips. Vibes. We obviously went with the Hershey's chocolate and chip vibes because don't ever play yourself. Hershey's is the, whoa. Congratulations, you played yourself. Hershey's is the brand that you guys wanna go with if you guys are using brand name. So boom, we're gonna throw the entire pack. Are you supposed to? Yep. Oh, okay, okay. Throw the entire pack of chocolate chips into this mixture. And now we are just gonna mix it together like so. Boom, a nice even mix. Bro, there's so many chocolate chips in there. Of course. 
So once you have completed your cookie dough mixture, what you guys want to do is grab a nice, beautiful quality baking tray, line that baby up with some parchment paper, just like that, some parchment paper. Perfectly lined up. Perfectly lined up. We might even have to make it even more perfect. Vibes. And once you have lined up your tray, what you guys then want to do is grab a nice spoon, grab a cookie ball, ball it up like so, boom, and line it on your tray about two inches away from the side and two inches away from all the other ones. So, boom. There's our first cookie. Ooh. All right, some vibes. Another one. Oh, those are gonna be so delicious. Some vibes. All right, now I'm gonna continue lining up my tray of cookies. We're gonna toss this guy in, and then we're gonna do the exact same thing with the no-name oh, stuff. Oh, baby. Actually curious. Bro, shout out to Great Value, by the way. They literally have every single thing from butter to sugar, to salt, to flour, to chocolate. Are these great value? No. Are great value chocolate no. Are these great value eggs? Great no. Value eggs, bro. No. They got everything great value. The greatest of value possible. No name value. Is this a great value camera? All right, guys. So with this size recipe, I still have some cookie dough left over, but I filled up two trays. All right, I made a dozen brand name cookies. Now guys, before we get into the no-name cookies and before we get into baking these cookies, now if I taste them, I have my own opinion. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna make sure that the entire house tastes the cookies, brand name versus no-name, but I'm not gonna tell them which one's which, guys. Once both sets of cookies are baked, I'm gonna have two piles, brand name, no-name, and I'm gonna get the guys to try both of them, and I'm gonna see if they can differentiate between the no-name and the brand name and see which ones that they actually like better. So. First batch of cookies into the oven. Here we go, boom. Onto the oven, and like so. Incredible. And I have two trays in the middle, guys. What I wanna do here is I'm gonna put the first tray on the bottom, second tray on top, and about halfway through, I'm gonna swap them. Boom, bottom goes up top, top goes on the bottom. 14 minutes in the oven. All right, guys, so we have cleaned off all our instruments, and it is time to start doing the no-name batch. But here we go, guys with two and a quarter cups of white flour. So boom, cup one. Bro, I can already see the, no, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine, you can see the difference already. It's like, already. oh, the peasantry. How much worse can it taste, bro? That's the thing, that's what, what I'm saying. What makes it better? That's here we go, guys. also a we're question. We're gonna take a look at the flour itself, right? We got some no-name flour in here, and we're gonna go in and scoop some brand name flour. Can we see a difference between the flowers? Like this one maybe looks a little shade darker or something. Yeah, it does look a little bit darker. Two and a half cups of white flour. Again, guys, we got the no name salt. We need one. Oh. Time one. To one teaspoon. Oh, is it time to flip these? It's time to flip these guys. Our timer went off. It's been six minutes. Whoa, there is the glove. Got the glove. Oh, those are some take. big dutty cookies. Oh, these look amazing. All Subway right. vibes. This one can come up top. Put this one up top. Switch this one to the bottom. Just like so. We're gonna let that guy sit in there for another seven minutes. Along with the salt, we wanna add one teaspoon of baking soda. Boom, just like so. Again, guys, grab your biz whisk and go ahead and whisk this together. Okay, is that actually and called a biz whisk? It's called a biz whisk. Ask Dustin. Or did Dustin name it a biz whisk? All right, what we wanna do guys is add the butter and the sugar, but the sugar part of the great value guys, they did not have a sugar thing. No, like how easy it is. They only had the sugar that comes in white packs. We need two thirds of a cup of white sugar. So we need to start emptying out these white packs into a bowl of some sort so that we can get two thirds of a cup of white sugar because this is the only option that they have. They're flopping already, all right guys? All right guys, you see the vibes. I'm adding the sugar four packs at a time. Oh, it's actually going efficient, by efficient. pretty quickly. So here we go. We got... I think you can maybe do a five bomb on this I one. I think I might be able to do a six bomb even. <laughs> oh, a six bomb. Let's even see, here we go. How many bombs do you have? Oh, this is just a light five bomb. <laughs> okay, All right, five here bomb. we go, boom, five bomb. 
Oh, oh wow. Vibes. Okay, okay, okay. Some more. I think a nice four bomb, maybe a five bomb should settle it up right here. <laughs> let's just, let's see. Yeet. And yeet. Oh yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's a nice five bomb right Ooh. there. All right, perfect. There, we did two, four, five, 15, 16, 17, 18 packs. That means we need 18 more and we're good to go. So we got two, four, 17, and 18. So, one 18 bomb. You think it's possible, John? All right, here we go. With the 18 bomb of sugar. Oh, baby. All right. Oh, you can't, you can't, you can't. The ultimate that. rip. Okay. Holy. All right, I think we still need to rip some. All right, here we go, folks. Yeet. There's two thirds of a cup of white sugar, just like that. All right, boom, boom, put that on the side. Now, we need three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, just like the old recipe. Here's one thing I'll say about the cheaper. It's just way more of a hassle to do things with way the cheaper one, hassle. you know? Like, it's out of a bag, you know, you're pouring things out beautifully on this one, you know? It's just There's a little more, a little more simple to use. Right there. All right, now we need about the same amount of butter, that three quarter vibe right there. Boom, just like so. Now, it is time to mix up our concoction. So guys, you've already seen this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna beat up the butter, I'm gonna add the eggs, I'm gonna add the vanilla, the great value vanilla, and then we are ready to mix up our entire concoction, and I'll catch you guys when this batch is ready to go into the oven. Our timer just went off for oh. our first batch of cookies. Oh! Bad boys out. Woo -hoo! So good. They look Golden pretty freaking brown. good. They look pretty freaking good. Let so me try one. Let me try one. This is our try. first batch. You gotta let them rest for a bit. That'll give us sufficient amount of time to finish off our next recipe. And that way we will have our first batch. And we are ready to cook our second batch. And then it is time for our favorite part of any video. The, the taste, taste test. test. All right, folks, so we have made our second batch of cookie dough. Now, it is time to add in the great value chocolate chips. Now again, guys, I'm gonna taste this chocolate chip to see if I can taste the difference. And honestly, some vibes. Some vibes. Doesn't taste that off from the Hershey's one. All right, so here we go. Pour in your entire bag of chocolate chips, just like so. Again, guys, fold in your chocolate chips into the mixture. I remember the last batch of cookie dough Tasted pretty darn good. Mm. This one, also some vibes, some big vibes. So I mean like, like preliminary taste test without actually having the two cookies side by side. It tastes pretty similar. I don't know what it is about the brand name stuff that it did look a little bit better than, than the no name stuff. But aside from that, we had no real problem. So here we go guys. Boom, first one. Put it right there. Yo, get away from my cookies, G. I can't try some. Well, which one are they? Are they brand name or no name? Can you tell? No. All right, well, you're gonna have to wait. You can't try some yet. Is that raisins or chocolate? They're, chocolate. They're raisins, bro. We're in Canada. I, if they're raisins, I, I can't have a react allergic reaction to raisins. Really? No. Honestly, the cookie dough tastes exactly the same. This looks like hummus. Don't say no. This bowl. <laughs> yeah, she does. <laughs> Not Guy ain't thinking the cookie dough looks like hummus. Guy, not everything looks like hummus, buddy. This actually looks like hummus is <laughs> chocolate. Why are you so Arab, bro? <laughs> Alright, now that we have both sets of trays ready to roll again, guys, back to the oven. That is set at 375. Those are rolled so perfectly, bro. One on the bottom. Yeet. And one on the top. Seven minutes on the clock. Then we'll switch them out for another seven minutes. And then we're ready to roll, baby. We're ready to roll, honestly. No difference thus far, but we'll see when it comes to the taste test. Oh. All right, guys, so we have taken out the no-name cookies out of the oven. Take a look. I feel like the sh I, I did way better on the shape. Making them a ball made them to be way more circular than the brand name ones, but the brand name have authenticity, yeah, right? Yeah, they have that Subway look. They have bro. that Subway Big Dutty Cookie vibe. We got the no-name cookies right here. Same exact recipe. They're the same exact thing. One is made with brand name. One is made with no-name products. We are going to let the no-name ones cool. Then it is time to put it to the ultimate test, the taste test. Wow, look at these boys. Some good-looking lads right over here. These design. 
What you know it? why I called upon you today? Yep, yep, yep. There's a bunch of cookies in front of you. And DJ, guys, is our local cookie connoisseur. <laughs> All right, he uh, establishes the finest quality of cookies and know. rates them from one to ten. Usually, he goes with a low rating because DJ's a tough I'm a critic. Tough, tough critic. That is big facts, oh, folks. Guille. Wait, can you tell who's Guille and who's Jeff? Yes. Uh, Guille, <laughs> uh, you haven't been on this channel very, very uh, often. Been on this You've been a couple times, but you're not a lot of people remember you, Doctor Hobbs, ladies and gentlemen. Doctor Hobbs. The the doc, no, no, the doc, the doc, the doc is in town, and he's kind of ugly. John Yang. John yeah. with the J, guys. John helped me film this video, so man, it's been a professional assistant with Big Man. Guys, you guys know that this video is a banger. John, thank you for your services. And John loves cookies. Oh, John loves love cookies. All right, guys. The reason why I have assembled you today is in front of us. We have two batches of cookies. They are the same exact recipe. John helped me film this video, so John, unfortunately, you are excluded from this part of the video. But guys. The other two contestants, we have two batches here, all right? Beautiful, delicious cookies, same exact recipe. The only difference, one used all brand name products, the other all no name products, eggs, butter, vanilla, flour, sugar, wow. everything was brand name versus no name. Okay. Now, based on solely the look, Mm -hmm. Can you guys differentiate brand which name. one is brand name what? and brand which name? one is no name? Yeah, I, can't. I wish you blindfolded me. That's, yeah, I know. Brand name for sure. If I'm wrong, amazing. I, I know. Yeah, I think that's the brand name. But I would say a hundred percent. Or it could be. But the subway. It could be just his The subway ones are like the you know subway know? looks like this. The subway cookie. They're flatter, but they don't look like that. The He's got wrinkles. Was, you know? He's got wrinkles. Yeah, high quality. They're 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 flatter, but they don't look like that. Oh, bro, these are so, these are the brand names. Okay, all right. They look nicer. That's fine. Yeah. All right, yeah. now, guys, what I want you to do is everybody 100%. grab one of each. Everybody grab one cookie, one of each. Jad knows which one's brand name, which one's no name. But now we are gonna differentiate between the tastes at the same time, folks. So, guys, at the same time, I would like you guys to take a cookie, or sorry, take a bite of the small. Better shaped cookie at the same time. Right. No, 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 no. Dave's not here. No. Dave's over. All right. One, two, three. Everybody take a it's bite of the cookie. Right there, right? All right. Hmm. 100%. Tell me what you guys think. Well, first of all, it's delicious. Okay. Delicious. Don't let that go. Oh, my God. That's vibes. How are, how are the chocolate chips? Amazing. This is a perfect cookie. But I don't taste like Hershey's. What? I don't know. I mean, does it taste yeah. like Hershey's? Everything tastes exactly how it's supposed to taste in this cookie. I'll tell you that right now. All right. Big vibes. Big vibes. Texture. I get what you mean. Texture. Really, like, I don't taste, no, sorry. I, I don't oh. taste Hershey's cookie. No. Chocolate. What do you mean hurt? Like the, the, the chocolate chips. I don't have that like after taste of like chocolate oh. Hershey chocolate. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm ready for this. I like the size and the thickness of this cookie. Yeah. Is the original cake? cookie? It's like a cake cookie. Uh, the thing is too is like maybe Bongo just like exactly the same measurements, exactly, exactly. Yeah, exact same everything. Okay. No, not the exact same everything. The way the cookies were the way that the cookies were shaped on the tray, shaped are, on different. The tray are different. Hence why they're baked different. Oh, okay. Hence. That's big then. That's big. Alrighty, folks. So now on the count of three, I would like you guys to take a bite of the bigger, slightly less round, little bit more homemade cookie. But same exact recipe. Mmm. I actually like this one a bit better. I can't tell, bro. You can't tell. Do they taste the same? Mm, no, the shaping, the shape, the shaping is throwing. I in taste the Hershey's in this. No, some really good. I do taste that after chocolate a little bit more. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of cheesed because they're way closer than I thought they'd be. Bro, those look, As those, those look high quality. Those look low quality, but 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 now I know like he just rolled it differently. Like that's. I feel the Hershey's in here. I swear to God. Mm. Yo, the taste mm. is so similar. Really? Oh, I do the same thing. I wish there was something to, like clean my palate. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I could get you some water or some milk maybe. He needs some milk! No, I like I like this cookie more though. Really? Same, I actually like this, this one. The bigger cookie? Do you like it more because of the taste or because of the texture of the cookie? Because of the chocolate and the cookie. Oh, really? So, Guy can definitely notice the difference of the chocolate. The, I'm, I might be wrong, but... I'm trying not I to... I feel like you can taste the chocolate more in this one. 
Yeah, because it's thinner. Mm. And, and because it's thinner too, yeah. I feel like, I don't know, this is just more of a, mm. I can dust 25 of these yeah. guys. Really? That's tough, bro. Alright. I'm struggling. So here we go, folks. It is time to judge mm. which one is which. We're going to start off mm. with DJ. No, 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 not me. Well, we can't start with Jai because he knows. So DJ. Oh, <laughs> DJ, which one do you think is brand name? Baking supplies, which one do you think is no name baking supplies? Hey, bro. Based on both texture and taste. I'm stressed. Cause honestly, they taste pretty similar to me. Vibes, vibes, vibes. Which is a good thing, I guess. Or a bad thing for how I was like talking when we started this video, but I might have to go. Oh my god, bro, the looks are throwing me off. Cause this one obviously looks so looks much amazing. better. But when I taste this one, I don't really taste the difference too much. So man, this might be a 50-50 for me. Really? That's how in like inseparable they are. Not inseparable, but I just like I want to say this one's better, but I think my head is like my eyes are messing. Yeah, up. psychologically that one yeah, looks yeah, better, like, right? Maybe it's not actually. All right, DJ, give us your final verdict, buddy. I might be wrong, but I'm going with brand name on the one that looks better. Really? Yeah. Vibes, DJ, locking in your decision. Yeah, I'm locking it in. All right, vibes, key. Right. Dr. Hobbs. What I learned today. The slightly less qualified doctor, and I don't know why he calls himself one. Mm. Dr. Hobbs! Talk to me, baby. All right. I learned something that brand names is not important because they taste the same. Really? They're the same. So they go buy the, the cheaper. Dang. Don't go wow. the expensive. Wow. Now yeah, Papa the annoying. Wow. Um, <laughs> I beat them. I ain't joining. Wow. <laughs> I, I was I was gonna say this is the brand name because it looks amazing yeah. and it's round and but I tasted the Hershey's and this and the Hershey's the brand name. Vibes. So that's the brand name. All right. Not the brand name. So, you you locking in that answer? Yeah. All right. Jaji, you know the difference. All right. Lesson learned. Whenever you make cookies, don't put them into perfect little balls. Put them into the way you had it before. I like that. But. I just, I'm just gonna say I like this cookie. I know the answer, so I'm not gonna reveal it, but I'm just gonna say I like this cookie way more because I feel like it just baked better. So maybe if it's better quality, it bakes better or something. I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. You think it was better baked? Way better baked. All right, folks. Why? Why? What makes Bro, you say that? Oh, like, we got some beef on the table, folks. Oh, what's, what's a good bake to you? Like this, I like that it's flat. Like this looks a little like. It's a different cookie. Un That's like the yeah, dough. Exactly. Like the dough. Oh, it's. Oh, you know, like okay. the way it so bakes, it, per longer, maybe, it bakes or? so perfectly evenly like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, you okay. Because it's not as thick. Yeah. All right, all right. Mm. Are you guys ready for the answer that you guys have been waiting for? Mm. And guys, this is huge because for the guys at home, they've been waiting for this answer too, and they have kind of made sense of what you guys have put together in terms of a judgment for both cookies and you guys you guys kind of hit the nail on wait so you, me and Jet said this is the the brand name yes no exactly. well, i didn't answer because i know which one's which oh, but, okay. I just, I, I like I like more. but you like you you said these are brand name I think those are these brand are no name no 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 you you say. all righty folks are you guys ready for the answer? Yes. Now what you guys have said already plays a huge factor because the guys at home have been wondering which one tastes better and it looks like there's a unanimous decision displayed in terms of the taste. It kind of tastes similar. Yeah. It tastes pretty tastes similar, similar, right? Mm -hmm. Now, DJ. Yeah. You said these were the brand name yeah. and these were the no name. Yeah. Unfortunately, my friend, Guy was right. These are the brand name baking supplies. These are the no name supplies. Let's go. This shape thing and how they were baked played the situation. Psych Ryan is aged because I purposely made the no name ones a little bit more round and I made the brand name ones a little bit less distributed. So don't go buy Gucci, buy anything you see But what if you were to buy is not important. So you made so you made the no name ones, you made them better on purpose to like equal out. So that's not no. What you mean? No, nah, I'm flipping the table. No, no, no. Nah. It's the nah. same recipe, DJ. Nah, stop. It's the same it's recipe. Not. It's not. This is what happened back. Alrighty, folks. So we got the guys still enjoying the cookies. What would you tell the guys at home? Are you buying the no name or are you buying the brand name stuff? In terms of taste. In terms of taste. Here's what I have to say. In terms of taste, and this, this is what I was saying at the beginning. Like some things, the brand name is way better. But I think that's for more like. This one thing that I'm buying that I'm eating, 
the brand name is better because it's one thing. But like, it's if it's like a bunch of things that you have to like add together to make one, like thing, salt and stuff. Doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what doesn't I matter what say, the flour and the sugar is. Like, I would get everything like non-brand name yeah. except the Hershey's the chocolate to be. Yes. Brand name. Vibes. Okay. 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 All right. The chocolate chips, bro. There's that. Beautiful smoky chocolatey aftertaste. Yes. All right, Vaz. Yeah, it lingers, it lingers. Yeah, there. yeah, big facts. All right, there it is, folks. So buy the no-name baking supplies, but buy the brand name chocolate. Exactly. The major component yeah. in the chocolate chip cookies. Yeah. Like, if you're, if you're yeah. buying something that it's the whole thing, <laughs> maybe go with the brand. Like if you're buying a cookie, a cookie, already, a box of box cookies. cookies. Don't play yourself. Don't play yourself. Don't but bake choice at minimum. Baking oh. cookies. Yeah. Play yourself a little bit. Play yourself a little. Bit. All right, vibes, vibes. Thank you, boys. That was awesome. Guys, make sure you guys go check out all of their channels. Their links will be down below. Thank you, boys. Alrighty, guys, there was the No Name versus Brand Name Baking Cookies Edition, yay. Alright, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. As you guys can see, there wasn't that big of a difference. I guess the biggest difference was the Hershey's chocolate chips themselves. But aside from that, I think you can get away with getting the No Name Baking Supplies. Huge, huge shout out to the man behind the camera today, Chad with the J, hey. for helping me out with today's video. His link will be at the very top of my description, so guys, make sure you guys go check him out. He's going towards 2 million subscribers, so let's get him there. If you guys want to see another brand name versus no name bake off, please comment down below and tell me what you guys would like to see baked, and hey, your idea might just make it. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, and until next time, take, take it easy. It's fun easy. easy.